Hello and welcome to Joe's Life One. This is Joe. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Sog Field Pup One. It's sold as a hunting knife, but it's a lot more in my opinion. All right. So, um, I got this knife uh, probably about a year and a half ago or so. Uh, I think I got it from Cabela's. I um, purchased it as I, I was given a gift card, and I uh, and I had to use it. And so I was like, oh, whatever. And so I just got it. I don't even remember how much I spent on it. I think it was like thirty bucks or something like that. It might have been fifteen. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Um, this knife has been mostly discontinued. It's very difficult to find now. Um, I was able to find it on on ba the Bass Pro Shop, and I think they had it on a deal. They normally normally a thirty dollar knife or twenty nine ninety nine dollar knife, and they were selling it for fifteen bucks. I think this one came with I think it came with a molly sheath though, and not the leather sheath, which might actually be a good thing. I mean the leather sheath is nice. Don't get me wrong. I like this leather sheath. It deploys quickly out, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But it's pretty basic. I kind of like that molly sheath. It has an extra pouch on it for uh, you can carry a uh, sharpening stone, which with this knife you might need. Um, I originally thought I ordered the seal pup, and I got the field pup. Um, I'm not sure if I just wasn't paying attention or I was trying to go for the seal pup. Anyway, I got the field pup. At first, when I looked at it, I was like, "This is what the heck is this thing? It's kind of ugly." Well. If you compare it to my R2D2, my Rat2 and D2 Steel, you'll know this is one of my favorite uh, everyday carry knives, and it's a lot of it's because of this uh, thumb ramp right here with the jimping on it. Very, I mean, you get a lot of control, and it's a very, it's a very user friendly knife. It's built to be used. Same thing with this knife. It's got this thumb ramp right here, and and. Uh, Sog does this really nice um, finger spots for your, it's almost like a choil, and it just holds in the hand very nicely. Um, I just, I thought it was really ugly at first, but it's not. And then if you look at the blade length and blade and the shape of it, it compares very very close to the Mora knife. I mean, it is almost like the Mora, except for it's got a little bit thicker spine, which is one of my beefs with the Mora Companion for about $14, and this one's about $15. A little thicker spine, and it's got um, it's got that thumb ramp right there with the the with the jimping on it. I really like that. This Mora away here. All right. Um, anyways, yeah, this this knife is very comfortable in hand. Uh, it has the craton molded uh, molded handles. Um, it's got it's got great traction right there. It's got a uh, lanyard hole. Uh, it's got great spots for your fingers right here. Just fits really nicely in hand. Great jimping. Um, Blades a hollow ground blade. Uh, it's it's nice and thick, like I was saying up top up here. Um, very robust. It's a full tang. It's got a four inch blade, so it's got nice four inches on there. Very similar to the Mora. And uh, it's an eight inch, eight and a half inch total knife. So I mean, you're, it's a it's a reasonable size knife. It's very nice, medium sized knife uh, it's got a slight recurve on it not bad it's good belly makes for a good camping slash tactical knife in my opinion and I was saying to myself you know this would be like the perfect knife to have if I was a homeless dude seriously like if I was homeless this would be the knife I'd want because you can fight with it I mean it's got it's got tactical applications to it but it's also a good like camp knife food prep knife you can you could uh you could uh, catch fish and and to and clean fish with this knife you could 
you could hunt you know small game like rabbits and stuff like that and clean them with this knife and you'd be just fine with it i think this would be a great knife for like like if i was homeless or if i was a uh if i was a um if i had to do uh survival on the cheap this would be a great option because it's got it's 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 basically it's got some tactical application sog is famous for having tactical application to their knives and yet it still works as a survival type knife i think that's really cool the one downside to this knife and it's a real bummer for me is the steel on this is a 7 cr uh 17 mov steel which is it's a it's a little bit um it's a softer steel and if you look at the tip right here i don't know if you can see it or not it's already been smacked up a little bit i'm gonna have to put a new edge on there and uh i would prefer the aus 8 or 8 cr 13 mov which i believe this used to come in was the 8 cr 13 mov steel but uh with the 7 cr 13 or 7 cr 17 mov uh, you're just going to have to sharpen it more. That's the only thing to it. So, you know, I mean, it should, you should have a sharpening knife if you're going to run it with the with that. Um, it's, a very, it's a very light knife. It, it's very, very light. I think it's only about 7 ounces altogether with the, with the sheath and the knife. I think it's like a little over 4 ounces with just the knife. Not bad. Um... The, uh, I was going to talk about the sheath real quick. I was going to say, well, the sheath is very basic leather sheath. Imagine this on your belt. It deploys quickly. It deploys quickly right off the belt. So if this was on your belt, boom, boom, and you're, you're in it and ready to go, which is great for defensive. Now, if you're going to be, if you're a military guy, I know a lot of the military type guys can carry knives like, carry knives like these because they don't cost very much to replace. I know you got knives, guys, the knives get stolen. Um, it might be a good idea to go ahead and get the Molly one, uh, and it's 15 bucks, 15 bucks on Bass Pro Shop. Um, the one thing, other thing I will say, I don't know if you can see it here, but I do have a little bit of rust on this knife. There's a few rust spots on it. Uh, let's see, see there. Yeah, there you go. Right there. A couple rust spots on it. I'm going to have to take, hit that with the, uh, steel wool, take care of that. But that's been sitting in a, it's been sitting in a, in the sheath for probably, a year and a half without any oil on it just haven't been using this knife that much um in short it's a uh, good budget option for a camp knife with uh, tactical app uh, ab ability tactical applications it would also be just fine for hunting and fishing um i think it's overall a good knife if you're not looking to spend if you're not looking to break the bank i think it's a good good option very good option sog field pup great field knife and uh, it has, has tactical applications and survival applications. Thank you very much. It's been Joe with Joe's Life One. Have a good one.